So my name is Joel Galli. I will open a brewery here uh, in Skabek within some months when we have the machine. They're going to already show you where all's going to happen. So here I'm going to have my loaded ton. Then I have my kettle there, hot liquor tank, uh, steam generator, uh, and then here all, I will have all my uh, tanks, fermentation tanks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the canning line will be just here. So with imagin imagination, you can, you can see it. I, s I see it every day. <laughs> so I plan ar around 1,000 hectoliters for the first year. We will see if it works, but it's around 1,000 hectoliters. So it's about, uh, I will have, yeah, didn't told uh, everyone, it's like a 10 egg uh, brew station. So we will brew twice a day. Uh, then we will have, I want to sell mostly here. So we will have a pub here, uh, my own beer garden. Garden, so that's that's like a dream since I'm more young to have my own beer garden. So we have the organic uh, market here that will always be there, opening more time. So now it's opening two days a week. No, I think we will open like four days. It depends how it works with the bar and brewery also. So it's really a collaboration together. It's to make really something great uh, for the neighborhood. Here, so we will have like a little bar uh, and uh, some uh, little restaurant snack uh, and the bar will sit here so it was a bar before here but we open all the, the wall here so we will go we will have uh, the counter will be just so you see this wall normally it will go out uh, and we will have the counter just here that follow here that, that goes here so we can't because I'm, I'm a really big lover of uh, Braune Kruche, so old uh, beer cafe uh, of in Brussels and I like to have people sitting on the counter and so we counted we can put 22 people sitting at the counter then we will have just there uh, a room where people can sit down we will have a scene when we do some concerts and we will have another room here a little bit more chill uh, maybe some sofa maybe we are not ready we didn't we, we are not like super super on it we don't know if, but it will be more chill please uh, and then as I told you my beer garden ah. Ah, so with a little bit of imagination because it's a lot of mess here but we will take out everything we have the beer garden here so just when everything will be out, we will have like a lot of space here. Uh, in the summer, it will be really cool because the sun go down there. So we will have some sun till late. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Just, I have everything in mind. So I see that it will I be super great. It too. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but you will have to climb a little bit because so we don't have it here right now but actually the building here was uh, uh, old uh, so it's in the 19th century late 19th century it was uh, a stock and where uh, the tramway uh, but run by horses uh, were here so it was one of the first tramway line here in Brussels uh, and we have always the tramway from the STIP, so the Brussels Transport uh, Company, that's always there. And we have one that normally park there every time. So we, I will have a tram in my beer garden. That's, that's cool. if that's, that's cool. not a dream. And yeah, so that's that's a little bit the mess, but it's going to be start, better. Uh building this uh, start here uh, taking out everything well, I mean, the whole brewery inst when I began to do that yeah. so I began to do that uh, to plan everything in May already uh, and then building and everything we begin like a little bit in the summer and then really in November because uh, it was some administration stuff uh, and I had like a go a green go from the from the commune of uh, from the city council of Skarbek uh, that followed me really hard so they're really cool with that but it took a little bit of time with administration so we are really in the building now building work so yeah 
And when did you have this dream to have this? I mean, uh, so your, your, your background, I guess you did a bit of so Cantillon and yeah, a bit at... Uh, de la Seine. De so de I did Seine. more than a bit. I worked uh, seven, nearly seven years at uh, de la Seine. Uh, working there, so beginning, then I, I, I ended like, uh, what can I say, I, I worked a lot with Yvonne on the recipes uh, and taking care of the ingredients and everything, so uh, all the barrel program we did together was something that I was really involved in with Yvonne and my other co-workers, so it's a long time working. Then I, I, I had to come norm to work normally in uh, Mexico another brewery uh, it couldn't happen with this virus uh, so just before I did a season with Jean at Cantillon we are really close friends so I asked him if I could uh, do a season with him so no Mexico and in May my friend that I will open the bar together uh, Jive uh, told me it's a place it's a place here in, uh, in, in Skabek I knew the place so I know the potential and like the history because I, I, I didn't want it to begin in a new building I, I like the history of the stones also so it was why uh, I, 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 I really run in jumped in the, the, the plan here and so it starts I began to brew with my mother when I was 15 that was the, the so first, enjoying, my first. Uh, and I drink beer since long time. <laughs> uh, what kind of beers do you hope to Here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mostly Maybe. German beer uh, and Saison. That's what you Mostly like. German beer, so Weiss, uh, Berliner Weiss, uh, Altbier, uh, Marsen, uh, then some, of course, some Lager, uh, and then a lot of Saison. Uh, and I'm not close to any style. I'm not the guy brewing a lot of juicy IPA, that's not my type of beer, but I will do, because uh, we will do some collab with, I have a lot of friends all around the world, so, and it's a bar, so we want to change a little bit, but it will be mostly German beer, because uh, it's a lack of that here in Brussels, even in Belgium, and that's really, I want some pintable beer really pint, 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 and something really easy to drink, uh, full body, full taste, uh, German beer, really nice and clean German beer. Are you in this uh, by yourself or do you have partners? I uh, have... How, how, do, how, how, I mean, it's really difficult to start up, especially yes. at this age. So you've gone so through a lot and you've done a lot in yes. a short time and nobody would have thought no. starting up a brewery No, right now. No. No. <laughs> no. So it's uh, I have some associates, some people that help me uh, uh, with money but also with their knowledge. So that was the the point. Uh, I didn't want it some, some people that just put it money inside and that don't know every, uh, anything on, on, on the beer. So it's people that it's in, in the market uh, that helped me a little bit uh, with that and a, and a lot for some uh, building the place and thinking about the engineering of the, of the brew station and all the system. Uh, then I have my other associate Jive that will run the bar, that's running bar from a long time here in Brussels. Uh, and that we have the same ID. I have uh, my close friend Amo uh, that's doing the label at Cantillon and for the rank. Uh, we are friends from a long time before that uh, and he's doing the label and the design for the brewery also. So, uh, and also beer, beer in Brussels and in the world uh, is really something close. People know each other so I have help from a lot of people so it's was not easy to begin but with all the help I got uh, it was more easy even from other friends I called them oh, okay you buy you bought this machine uh, what's the, the the problem you had on it and everything like uh, for the business plans okay you did your business plans kind of so so we really helped each other uh, I don't know L'Hermitage uh, showed me the uh, um, I don't know what's the name, paper that you have to put uh, at the city council to have like oh, yeah. uh, your, the authorization. So they showed me everything. Uh, I have my friend at Misery that showed me a lot of things. Oh, really? Jean at Cantillon really? also, Remy. Uh, so it's, it was, we are a big family uh, and it's still a lot of space here in Brussels. 
uh, we don't walk on each other so even my uh, my uh, I'm always good in good mood with my other uh, my old employees so Yvonne and Bernard so they help me also in a lot of stuff so it's a big family yeah. what have you learned in, uh, just in starting up was it the paperwork or getting the equipment or what was it uh, 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 I learned it's taking a lot of time, but it's passion, so I don't have any problem to come here like 12 hours a day to do some stuff. Uh, I, as I think I learned, but I, I already knew that because I was, as I told you, I was working in the system for a long time. Uh, it's really this family stuff uh, that you call friends, they help you. Uh, I had like, uh, I think when I told everyone that I begin this brewery. I had like 20 people sending me a direct message. Oh, if you have, if you need anything like help, I can come. I had like a lot of people coming here. So it's, I, I learned what I thought. Uh, uh, we are in a good mood here in Brussels. People are good uh, in the world, but in Brussels, we are really in good mood. When do you hope to open? I have uh, the machine that come uh, the 19th of January uh, in Antwerpen uh, and then uh, touching wood I hope to brew in uh, February hope to so so normally so with the bar so beer will be ready if I can brew in February somewhere in March and I we hope to open the bar in March if there is changing in the rules but we hope ev everyone hopes that it can what's plan b if it can open i will do some cans <laughs> so what's the spirit spirit is to do good beer for sharing not too expensive and uh, we will use some uh, organic uh, ingredients because it's the mind of the place and I think it's something good that we want to do uh, so for the spirit it's I want to do some local easy beer uh, to drink not yeah not too much thinking about it uh, beer as it has to be for me like really and I will do accessible some beer. accessible beer to everyone I will do the beer I like to brew and like to drink and I think people, I hope people will love to drink it. <laughs> uh, if not, it's bankrupt, no, it will work. And I will do some Lambic, sure, I will do some, I will try to do some Lambic here, uh, I will do some uh, barrel aging stuff, so yeah, no, a lot of good stuff happening and the spirit is come home, that's my home and come, we will share some beer together, some music together, and nothing to to hype, nothing to, it's for everyone, for everyone. Not just for nerds? Not just for nerds, no, <laughs> they can come, it's for everyone. White, black, yellow, and uh, old, young, women, men, everyone, everyone is uh, here, and I hope to really have this spirit. As I told you, I, I like the old Braune Kruke, so old Flemish bar in Brussels, and I want, yeah. yeah, and I want brown cafe, so I want a little bit this spirit. You sit down uh, at the counter, you speak with your neighbor that you don't know, that's a little bit this spirit we want to have. Uh, with some good music, uh, yeah, it's, we'll see if it happens. I think the neighborhood is changing a little bit here, uh, but uh, we want, I think it's a good place to open that style of bar. It's already some really good bar here in Scarbeck. Yeah, uh, the bar yeah, the bar the le Distrant, uh, le Central Park. Uh, upside you have uh, land full and there uh, so it's a lot of good stuff already open but uh, yeah I think it's some spot for other people and uh, I don't want to to work on their stuff uh, it's really like a sharing I want to do we will see and do you know the history of the breweries in this area you say this is the first yeah, one to open back it's actually Wellman's uh, yeah country. so Ah, no, so Willemans, uh, that was so the brewery was not there, Willemans just there, it was stock. Uh, and I think it was mostly publicity, because uh, they, they did those publicity in 2030. Uh, no, so you had some brewery till I think it's 60s, I don't remember the name, uh, but then all the brewery uh, closed here in the area of Scarbeck. 
uh, it was a lot of different in Scarbeck, but uh, I think it's one of the the first place, the first uh, neighborhood uh, commune here in Brussels uh, that had no be no breweries anymore. Uh, so it's cool to come back here and to do something, yeah, in the history also. Yeah.